Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to the December version of the year with my nomies. And yeah, welcome to the last video of this series. Okay, actually it's not going to be the last video because I have just added photos to all of the layouts, even this one, even though you won't see it because I've already recorded all this stuff and taken the pictures like a year ago. Um, but you will see because I am going to do a recap. Now, I've mentioned quite a few times throughout this series that it was a bit frustrating to get, you know, the sizes you can see here. I'm trying to figure out photo mat sizes with these scraps. I even tried cutting down that circle a moment ago and it just wasn't going to work. Um, you can, this is here is what I'm trying to follow and they have a large piece of the green on their page, the dark green, but mine is just not going to work for that. I just don't have a piece big enough and I'm, I'm just going to play around so you will see what I end up doing, but it is fairly similar to what they have. Um, now, I am sticking in within the the collection kits and the coordinating, you know, solids that I'm using there. And it dawned on me, I mean, duh, here I've been working with this series and this kit all year long. <laughs> you could easily do this with your own cardstock. I mean, how many of us have like a huge pile of cardstock? At least for me, because I don't use it for backgrounds very much. I, I have some, you know, I don't have nearly as much as some people, but we've all pretty much got cardstock, right? So if you didn't want to bother with the solids pack and trying to follow along with what I'm going to do, you could pull out your own color of cardstock. For example, that red piece. I don't remember which month it is that I cut that out, but I needed some kind of a photo mat or some kind of red piece or on the other side is black. So I don't remember, but... I'm still going to make that red piece work for this layout as my background. Again, I am just trying to stay within what I purchased. And at this point, this is all the colors I have left. I have no full solids left at all. So I'm going to use that red and it works out perfectly. In fact, I didn't even remember that I had done that until I started to watch this video and I was even measuring the sizes and everything like that. So just letting you know, you can just, I don't even know why I didn't think about this sooner. <laughs> if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, that's great. A lot of you have, it was very interesting. I love hearing that you guys are doing, some are doing eight and a half by 11 with this. Some are doing, um, somebody was doing nine by 12. So it was very, it was neat kind of having you guys all kind of comment what you're doing with it. I am still thinking about next year and I am still trying to figure that out. So I will let you know soon. And um, by the way, I'm just going to throw this out there. The measurements other than the photo mats are the same for both sides. Basically, this is the background paper and the pattern paper and the photo mats. And that's pretty much it. Minus this border sticker here, which is 12 inches long. I don't do use the full 12 inches, but you will kind of see what I do use. The other thing I'm going to use is this Happy Holidays like rectangle. And I'm using that as my title piece, basically. Um, I noticed that a lot through this year, they had a lot of gnomes, like every month had like three gnome stickers, except for like the last few months. It seems like they went down to two. Uh, there are still fun stickers, but I did kind of, I was thinking about that as I was doing this layout as well. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Maybe they got tired of doing the gnomes different ways or something, who knows, but here is a little trick. Um, this is just a scrap piece of pattern paper. It's white on one side. It's got a pattern on the other side. I'm not going to use it. It's not a big deal to me. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm going to make this page a little more stable. As far as gluing down that pattern paper piece, I just knew that it would be easier if it was more stable. And which is probably why I didn't even notice that I had used or cut that piece out because the back of it is just the salt more solid piece. I did trim that solid piece down from 12 by 12 so that I wouldn't have to worry about lining it up exactly. I don't remember how much I cut off, whether it was a quarter inch, half inch, it doesn't really matter as long as it's big enough to hold it. You can make it 
fit exactly the sizes if you're worried about it, but there's no real noticeable dent in my paper or anything like that unless I actually like push on it. So um, just letting you know that. Another thing I'm going to add because I felt like this layout kind of needed a little something. Oh no, and also on their sample sheet, it has, they used uh, twine it looks like in the picture or yeah, some kind of really thin ribbon or something. There's this red, I don't have red. A lot of you probably know from watching me, I love my crochet twine. Um, and I like it because I feel like the red would have been too much red with that background paper being red. So. I just went ahead and wrapped that around. I did it three times. Um, I do it this way with the double-sided tape so that I don't have to wrap it entirely around, which is not that big of a deal with this twine because this twine is pretty fairly inexpensive. Um, and you can find it at Michael's, by the way. I think it was like $3 for the roll. Of course, that was years ago. So now it's probably, you know, $7 or something with everything going up, but you can use a coupon. So just keep that in mind. Um, so anyways, I am going to wrap twine around on both sides of the layout, the left and right page. And that is also why I did not write, um, I didn't write the like left page, right page sizes because the, it's the same sizes other than the photo mats. And I do have the photo mat sizes written down. This layout, you're gonna see me kind of play around a little bit with, um, mostly the right hand side, I kind of, struggled with where to place things. Like I said, there wasn't as much, I love their, their, you know, going off of, since I'm trying to go off of their sample piece, there wasn't as much to it as there have been other layouts. And, you know, a lot of ones, they cut apart things. There's, I really like the layout. I'm not complaining about that or anything. It just um, a couple spots that I end up having to fill. And it just was a little bit, I, it worked out. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. It worked out. Um, also with that twine, I am going to add a bow. So if you wanted to tie a bow while you were tying the twine, you can feel free to go ahead. I personally, I, I like my bows to be straight. I'm a little OCD on everything, especially when it comes to bows. So I personally like to put the twine down first and then tie a bow and Usually I glue it with a glue dot. Sometimes I will even glue the little strings, um, but it just depends. This layout, it seemed to work out and I didn't, I think I didn't want to glue down the strings until I knew what pictures was going to go in there, you know, so I didn't have to move the strings or anything like that. But here's one place you can see me kind of struggling. I'm looking at what they have, what stickers they have. Um, playing around trying to again go with what they had on their sample layout and I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm going to kind of start to go out on my own at this point. And they have this sticker that says 25 on it and it's a circle. So to bring around that circle kind of aspect, I'm going to try it here in this spot by this photo. Um, but I'm going to end up putting, oh, I wish I would have known there was the 24 on there. I don't have the 24. And the pictures that I ended up putting on here, I'm see, I made a mistake because I ended up not keeping the scraps. I should have kept the scraps. What I have, what I did was I started to make cards with the scraps and I, I just didn't have enough of anything. I'm not a card maker, so it's not very easy for me to make cards. And I got frustrated and I said, nope, I'm done. I'm done with this collection. I wanted to move on. <laughs> At this point, I had done a year's worth of layouts, right? So I, I kind of just scrapped. I got rid of all the scraps. Now I wish I would have kept them because I would have added that 24 on there as well. Um, the pictures that I added were from let's see, 2020. Uh, and they were on, usually I do separate for the Christmas Eve and Christmas day photos, but you'll see when I show you um, why I added both. But anyways, back to that kind of where I'm going off on my own, I decided it felt very empty up here and I didn't like the green 25 on top of the green photo mat. So I cut out or punched out a couple of these extra circle pieces that are on the pattern paper. And I made a little cluster up here in the top left. And I really like this cluster. It looks really cute in person, in my opinion. Um, 
I do come back and add a little holly berry to that cluster as well. And then I'm going to add another cluster on the top right of the happy holidays. So it kind of gives a trio of three clusters. So there you can see, I'm here's where I'm adding the bow. And I do just add a glue dot. I did add a glue dot also as well underneath the twine itself. The way I set up the twine is so that the three pieces kind of crossed each other. So it would kind of come together, but I did a, add a glue dot underneath those as well, just to kind of help give it or help it stay in place. Sorry, I got a little distracted there for a moment. Now um, I'm going to start building this right-hand page and I was going to make it kind of the exact, like with, you might have noticed me measuring um, where the distance between the right edge of the page and the pattern paper for the left one, the one I just finished working on. And I was going to make it the same for this one. I don't remember, honestly, if I do, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm also going to add, basically I'm doing the same thing over here that I did on the other side. Only what I did on the top, I'm going to do on the bottom. Um, at least with the twine anyway. I, I guess I shouldn't say for everything. It's just for the twine. Uh, I love that Christmas tree paper there, by the way. I, I think that would have been a fun one to use, but it would have been hard to figure out how to use that one, you know. Although now looking at it too, going back to me saying there's not as many gnome stickers, this pattern paper is full of gnomes. So maybe that's why they did it is if the pattern paper was more full of gnomes, they did less gnome stickers. I don't know. Anyways, so just gluing that down, making sure it's nice and tidy there. And then I'm going to glue down my, um, excuse me, my, uh, photo mats down. And I'm kind of keeping with the dark green on top and the light green on bottom, but I'm going to end up with that space there underneath the dark green and to the left of that light green. And I, I don't like it. I, I feel like it's very empty there. I don't know. I'm going to try quite a few things here. I'm going to try different pattern papers, the title. Um, I am going to take a minute here and when I was making these layouts, I did not feel, didn't like these tags there. You guys probably know that I struggle with tags quite a bit. Although looking at it when I was making this video, I actually kind of like the way they look. I think what might have been throwing me off was that bright pink one because there really isn't pink. I mean, there is a little bit of pink in like the, the gnome stickers, like their hats and stuff there really isn't much pink anywhere else on this layout. And so to add this giant pink tag was really rather throwing me off. Um, you can see there, I'm even trying it without the pink tag and I, it just wasn't filling up that space like I wanted. So I think I even turn off the camera here for a second and I go and try and figure it out. And so what I finally figured out that I'm going to do is add another photo mat. Luckily I had another piece of the light green. I think I had to go searching. <laughs> I think I would have taken anything at this point, but so I just added a smaller photo mat and I did list that in with the other ones. It's just a three by three photo. So it's a three and a half by three and a half photo mat. You could make your photo mats a little smaller if you wanted to as well and just cut off a quarter inch of the sizes. But then I'm just going to, the rest of this layout goes pretty quickly. I'm just gonna add the rest of the stickers around. I have the two popped up, you know, gnome stickers. So it's going to end up being the cluster in the top left, then down to the car. Then there's gonna be one here. I'm going to start working with right there on that above the title then back down to like the present in the tree and then back up to the gnome. So it kind of zigzags your way across the two pages to help your eye flow through the photos. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then the one last thing that I do add and I do it off camera is some picket fence gems. I add a red one and a silver one and a green one in each cluster. And I have to tell you, of all the gems out there, I think Picket Fence is probably my favorite. They are the most sparkly gems out of all of them that I've ever, you know, some gems you get and I just kind of, they're very obviously cheap and fake. 
And so uh, the picket fence is really very sparkly and you get a ton of them in a pack. And you, I like the really tiny size too. Um, just letting you know, you can see the gems in the still shot photos. I am also going to add some of the stickers. There was a couple word stickers around. So I decided to go ahead and cut out a few of the like word stickers or word word strips that are not stickers. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Anyways, I am so glad you guys have enjoyed this series. I am looking forward to another year. I hope everyone out there has some happy holidays, whatever you are celebrating. And thank you so much for joining me through this series. Um, and pretty soon I will upload my recap with all the pictures. All right. And yeah, please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you at the next video. All right. Bye.